Well, we have arrived in the beautiful town of Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. It is a sunny, beautiful day. And uh, we are at Wendy's, which we are going to be spending the next 24 hours. And the best thing about this location is it's a huge strip mall here. Um, Canadian Tires right across the street. And also it's um, teamed up with the Tim Hortons. So that means uh, they open at like five o'clock in the morning, which will help us a lot. And uh, oh, we're gonna go straight in. Nice. It's a little confusing here. Again, it's a Tim Hortons Wendy's location. So uh, there's two different drive-throughs. The, I think the, the KFC Taco Bell, it's one drive-through and they do both foods. Uh, whereas here it's, it's almost like two completely separate restaurants in the same building. And uh, there are like six, seven cars ahead of us. So let's be a little patient. Like I said, because there's two different drive-throughs, I drove into the wrong drive-through. So I'm in the Tim Hortons drive-through and I wanted to be in the Wendy's one. Oh well. I need to get for you. I'm in the wrong drive-through. I wanted to get Wendy's. Okay, no problem. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. All right, so what's gonna be first? I'm gonna do the Asiago Club Chicken Club. So you want spicy? Uh, yes, please. Any drink? Large Coke and large fries, please. Anything else? That would be it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, people, starting big, starting large. Hello. Wow, that's crazy big. <laughs> I forgot how big that was. Thank you. All right, people, let's park it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Let's put down our placemat. We got our napkin. We've got this crazy drink. Look at the size of this drink. Show the logo. Look at all that ice. That'll keep me nice and cool. Mmm. Thanks, Wendy. Let's see these fries. Oh, boy. Those are a lot of fries. We've got our... Chicken Asiago spicy and three bonus fries. Check them out in the bottom. You gotta eat your bonus fries first, right? That's just the way it goes. One, two, three. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close up of this beautiful Wendy's meal lunch, starting off our 24 hour stealth camp. We got Wendy on the side of our Coke, very large Coke. I'm not sure, that looks like a 32 ounce cup, maybe. Over here we got our golden french fries. Once again, Wendy hanging out on the side. And over here is the Asiego Club spicy chicken sandwich. Look at that shiny lid. Let's do the fresh test, bounce back. And under the lid, looks like we've got some mayo hanging out on top of that wavy, crispy green lettuce. And then we got that crispy uh, bacon, the Asiago cheese, the spicy chicken. Oh my goodness, let's get into this as soon as possible. Did you guys ever notice that? It says mom right there. It's just supposed to be like the top of her dress, but it says M-O-M. Mmm, -M. Wendy's fries. So good. Let us know in the comments below if you love Wendy's french fries. I do. All right, let's get into this Asiago. Oh man, it's been so long. Welcome back, Wendy. Welcome back. Mmm, there's a tomato on there too. Nice spikes to that chicken. <laughs> A five liter Mustang just pulled in. That fresh chicken, beautiful lettuce, nice ripe tomato. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for requesting me to come here and do a 24 hour stealth camp at Wendy's. I was holding off as long as possible because Wendy's in Canada does not have a breakfast. Um, apparently, I did actually go to Buffalo when Wendy's first launched their breakfast and I got there like two minutes late because of a snowstorm and uh, I missed out on uh, doing the breakfast for the very first time when it was first available. So I have not been to a Wendy's in the United States since, and, but uh, I'm gonna do this one for you guys here in Canada. Once the borders open up between Canada and the United States, I'm gonna start traveling into the States and doing 24 hour stealth camps at the Taco Bell because Taco Bell has all day breakfast, or sorry, has breakfast and so does Wendy's. So I'll be doing those in the near future, stay tuned. Time to eat some more. Mm-hmm. I also noticed on the menu as I went by, they have the strawberry frosty, which we'll do later on as a snack. Uh, the other thing I noticed too, is that they are open to go in to use their facilities. So uh, the fact that they're open at five o'clock in the morning will be awesome. I think they're only open till around 11 o'clock at night. I'll have to check out to see if the Tim Horton side is open uh, later than Wendy's. That will help. I will add a porta potty in here eventually when I start doing longer um, stayovers. But when you're in a situation like this, we have lots of options. There's gas stations, uh, there's a McDonald's across the street too. So I have lots of options to use washrooms because people always ask me, where do you go to the washroom? Most of the places are available to use their washroom. So there's the answer to that one. If you've never tried the Asiago Chicken Club Spicy Sandwich, please give it a shot. It's definitely a go out and get it now plus. Cheers. All right, guys, I am loving this so much. I'm going to have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This bite is especially for you. Cheers. Mm. The Ash Diego cheese totally makes it, man. Last bite. Mmm. Well, I'm all done. Uh, let's go in the back and I'll show you uh, one of the things I've just added to Rusty. I can't use it just yet, uh, and I'll show you why. So, like I said before, I really wanted to use these kind of things to help organize. So I did manage to get a couple of those. This is the new item that we've added to Rusty. Let me just move my camera bag out of the way. So it is a cooler and we will be able to plug it in. But uh, again, this plug doesn't seem to uh, want to work. And uh, I want to buy uh, like a large battery pack with solar panels. So that when I'm parked, I can put the solar panels on top and uh, it'll charge my big battery system which will keep things cool when we do like two to three day uh, camps and i can't wait to start doing those but yeah i'm going to organize this stuff and then we're going to kick back relax and uh, enjoy the afternoon all right it's all tidied up all my stuff is put away as best as possible. I've got my new security system right there. Or just in case I wanna have a game of bat baseball. Let's shut that. Got my uh, windows cracked open. A tad there, a tad there. I also have this thing ajar and that'll keep it cooler down here. So I got my little power station Keep that at the back. I'll plug in my uh, phone as I need power. But it is right now just after one. I'm just gonna sit down, relax for a bit, uh, enjoy that meal a little bit more, and then we'll go for a walk. Uh, my tire's flat on this thing. I, I guess, I'm not sure if I ran over something, but the front tire is completely flat. I pumped it up, and as I was pumping it up, you could hear the air escaping from it. So I might do another little quick fix on that. Let's just relax and enjoy the day. One of the next things I need to add to this uh, stealth camper is uh, window coverings. And uh, we're gonna have to go to either Canadian Tire or Home De Depot and buy that. Uh, it's like 
insulating tin foil bubble wrap kind of thing and you can just put it over the window cut it out and it'll kind of just snap in place and then what i'm going to do is a spray adhesive a black covering on the outside and when i put it up against the window it'll just look like really dark uh, tint windows and people won't be able to see in and then i'll also be able to uh, put a light in here and light it up in here when it's dark and uh, without people seeing that there's somebody in here with a light so we'll have to uh, get one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, coverings or i'll do the four sides the back and then i'll put a drape uh, like a blackout drape between here and the uh, the front of the van and that'll uh, keep out uh, Keep people keep people from seeing the light inside the vehicle. That's just another upgrade. We got to do well It's uh, two o'clock uh, time to go for a walk burn off some of these calories. We are accumulating Let's go So just out from my walk still, uh, I'm walking by Upper Canada Mall. There's a sport check right here. And uh, just wanted to see if they had any tire tubes uh, in stock. And uh, they don't. So I'm gonna go and check out over here at Canadian Tire, which is just on the other side. My car is parked over there somewhere. Uh, so we'll go over to Canadian Tire. Uh, give them a call. Everything is curbside, um, but there is a bicycle shop just down the road uh, too far to walk. And so I'm just going to zip over there and because they're open to the public to the point where they're like, they literally have their store almost outside. Uh, I took my bike there uh, not too long ago. I think I did it on this. Yeah, I did it with the, uh, the, the uh, Taco Bell 24 hours. So it's called Spoke Emotion. I'm just going to zip over there and see if they have some tubes. And if they have a couple tubes, buy them and then come back here and we'll install them. All right, let's go. Kind of have the sunroof open. Uh, this little button does a, a vent. Nice. All right, let's go. made it to spoke emotion and as you can see they have like an outdoor shop and i'm just going to go over there with my wheel see if they oh that guy's going to run with that bike oh man that was close so uh, i'll just go in there and uh see if they can give me two tubes and uh, we'll be on our way Hello. Just wonder if I could get two tubes, please. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, we got our tubes. Apparently, there's not a whole lot of tubes left in the on the market because of what's going on in the world. And uh, so they're they've got a little bit of a premium markup on them now, which is all right. We need we need our bike to work, and we're good to go with those. So these are the uh, MTB latex and they have the skinny valve as opposed to this bike valve. It's the skinnier valve, which is basically on my road bikes, got that kind of valve. As you can see, we've made it back to Wendy's. I'm gonna park in this little bit of shade. Perfect like a glove you know what i just realized i think we need a treat after all that work of driving over to the bike shop let's go through the wendy's and get that strawberry frosty Hi, all right how are you doing Good i'm gonna try that uh strawberry frosty please sure, what size? let's go medium, medium? that's it thank you all right 277 people 
How much does it cost where you live? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you. All right, people, let's park it. Now let's move on to this Frosty. Strawberry Frosty going down. Check it out. Close up, scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. Hmm, smells like strawberry. It's not as pink as you think it should be. It just looks like vanilla. All right, let's do it. Smooth ice cream, for sure. Not a bad flavoring of, of uh, strawberry. Uh, back in the day, when I was a kid, uh, I would never order a drink. It would be a, um, a burger, fries, and a Frosty. And that's this is what I would, I would do for my drink. Let us know in the comments below if you were the same. Or did you get your soft drink, your burger, your fries, you eat that, then you go back up and get your Frosty. Because you have to have it super cold like this. You don't want it to be all melted by the time you're finished eating your, uh, your dinner. It's uh, 3.42 in the afternoon. And um, I guess just before dinner, I'll try and put the, the tube on my bike and maybe go for a ride after dinner. We'll see you soon. Today was Wednesday and it's the day that I do my weekly scheduled channel members live stream. And I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by for that. But now it is time I gotta do this tire first, build up a hunger, and, and then we'll grab some dinner. I think I'm gonna just stick with a burger for tonight. Let's go park back over there um, and then we will uh, get this tire done. So I did take a peek in here and luckily I still have my tire irons. There we go. Pink! See that? I caught the camera just in time. The wind blew it off that spot I had it. But like I was built to say, this is a smaller little valve and you have to unscrew this little part so that this can go up and down. We'll attach that to there. Put some air in this thing. Tube is in the tire, valve in first. Rubber's on, tube is in, time to inflate. All inflated. Make sure this valve is nice and tight. Put our cap back on. Ready to go for a bike right after dinner. It is now after six. Dinner time. A little bit of a lineup. Nothing we can't handle. Let's go eat. I'm gonna do the bacon deluxe combo, uh, but for the drink, can I do the uh, the strawberry lemonade medium? Sure, medium fry as well. Uh, what's, let's uh, change it to the chili cheese nachos, please. Sure. Anything else? That's it, thanks. Thank you. That speaker sounds bad. Wendy's. Fix your speaker. There we go. All right. Oh, Thanks. Have a good one. You too. All right, people, let's park it. Did you hear that? My tire just exploded. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going in for the extreme close up of this Wendy's dinner, we went with the strawberry lemonade. I don't recall the last time I had one of those. Over here, we've got our chili cheese nachos. Look at those crispy nachos, chili, beans, gooey cheese. And of course they gave you a fork. Well, how else are you gonna eat it? And over here, we've got our bacon deluxe. Let's, it's another, like once again, a shiny lid. Lift off the top. We've got onion, mayo, ketchup, tomato, more lettuce, more bacon. Let's just keep that tipped over. Let's just pull up that bacon. Oh, it's crispy bacon. We got cheese, we got beef, and we got more cheese on a toasted bun. 
Oh my goodness. Let's stop talking, start eating. Of course we have to wet our whistle first. A little on the sour side. Woo -hoo -hoo. I, I, I need to take a bite of this burger. It looks beautiful. It looks like just awesome. Mmm. Oh yeah. Backyard barbecue flavors. Mmm. And Wendy's does have great buns, don't you, Wendy? Ooh la la. Every bite so far, that bacon is super crunchy. So is that lettuce. That is another uh, number one killer here at Wendy's. The Bacon Deluxe. Give it a shot. Um, I guess the last time I had these, possibly, was when I did the, uh, the value menu challenge. And uh, yeah, it's been a long time. All right, Wendy. No, go good on this is some jalapenos, eh? Wendy's chili is amazing. These nachos are more like sagos right now. <laughs> so I parked over there, set everything up, and then realized the sun was beating through. While I was contemplating putting all this stuff over to my, my passenger seat and moving to this spot, my tire exploded in the car. <laughs> scared the crap out of me so now i thought there was just a hole in the tube but chances are there's something in the tire that is piercing that uh that tube so i'm, I'm guessing that there's possibly a, a nail in the in the tire i didn't check that because i didn't think that was the problem now i know Check your rubbers. Make sure there's no holes in them, people. Ooh la la. So these nachos and chili are fantastic. The, as I'm getting uh, into these other ones, they're more crunchy. As you can hear, less sog factor. They're nice and salty. The way nachos should be. Those are dynamite. Back to the burger. I knew if I got fries again, you guys would freak. Dude, there's other things on the menu. Okay, I know, but I still love you guys. Onion, hmm, pickle. The bacon deluxe is a definite go out and get it now. And so are the chili cheese nachos. Give them both a shot. And of course, I think this is better than the regular uh, lemonade. So try the strawberry lemonade. It's been a strawberry day, hasn't it? Last juicy bite. Mm -hmm. All done. Let's go check my tire. All right, so I took my tire apart, felt all inside here, make sure that there was nothing there. Checked the whole tire, nothing there. But I tried to inflate the tube and I could see where the problem is. Right there, there's a big rip right there so which means if it was on my rim that means one of these is the culprit so it's either right where these two join it was just too much for it because sometimes a, a spoke will break and then push up into here that's why there's a rubber on here and uh but i'm thinking that's what blew it right there pushed too hard didn't like it but i put the new tube in seems to be going well it says uh 30 to 60 psi and so i put it to 40 i don't need it to be any higher than 40 at the moment uh 30 is kind of like when you're going off road this is all done let's put our cap back on all right bike is all ready to go lock up rusty Let's go for a ride.
Frosty. How you doing, sir? All right, that was a great bike ride. It is almost time to watch the Maple Leafs play some hockey tonight. So it was a 35 minute ride. I burned 328 calories and all together throughout the whole day, 971 calories today. Fantastic. Let's take that hat off. Woo! Got to cool down a bit. Get that Leafs game on and uh, relax a bit. It's now 8.40. I'm just going to lie back, get my YouTube pillow ready, and uh, watch some of the Leafs play tonight. All right, NHL app. View the game. It better play, man. Better play. Yes. It's on, people. It's on. Well, the Leafs lost in overtime. Uh, it was a really good game. Congratulations to Ottawa uh, for getting that puck in overtime right at the be right at the beginning of overtime. I think it was like within nine seconds of overtime, and they won. So, uh, and then I looked over to Wendy's, and I believe it's closed. So our late night snack is no longer. So I guess we're going to find uh, like the best stealthy parking spot and uh, go to bed. You think they'd shut those off at nighttime? Have the word closed? Yeah, I see people with backpacks on and they're leaving. <laughs> it's, so it is definitely over, people. Like I said, we'll uh, try and find the best stealthy spot. Trying to be as safe as possible. Stealthy as possible. Driving around in circles around the building is not a really good idea. All right, guys, it is 11.30, as you can see by my clock there. And uh, so we are going to, this is my spot that I'm going to, that I've chosen. So it is like right by, this is the like on ramp to get going north on Young Street. As you can see by this York Region Transit van, it's going to go north up that way. Yeah, this is a good spot. Um... There's a light standard like right there that will possibly keep me up a little bit longer. But I've got my hat, my YouTube hat. I'll put that over my ears and my eyes. So let's try and climb into the back from the front seat. I should, hopefully I won't fall. Oh, that was somewhat easy and difficult at the same time. It is nine degrees celsius so i think we'll be good tonight in this sleeping bag for sure so i take my shoes off put my track pants on uh just wear my long sleeve shirt and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning good night Good morning. It is 5.51 in the morning and uh, the sun is just about to come up. Let's see if the camera will adjust. It'll be coming up over there somewhere in the next couple minutes. But uh, I had a really good sleep last night, man. I really enjoyed that one. It wasn't too cold. It wasn't too hot. Um, I only had... I did some tossing and turning, but I only had, uh, excuse me, one one scare last night. Probably about an hour after I went to sleep, I was just about, like, completely out cold because there was just a lot of traffic and stuff, and there was a few, like, muscle cars that went by uh, just blaring up Young Street. So those kind of things kept me up for a bit. But when I finally just about fell asleep there was like this bang on the on the van and i thought 
I was under attack <laughs> or somebody threw something at my car or something and uh, it turn turns out it was uh, basically I have two of these arms uh, suction cup things and uh, I set up my GoPro uh, to the sunroof uh, window I suction cup it to the sunroof and uh, it fell off uh, like an hour after I, f I tried to fall asleep and it crashed down and, and I woke up and of course my uh, my hat is over my nose and uh, so I hear this crash my brain's like what's that you know, open your eyes and of course it's pitch black because my and I was so freaked out that uh, when I pulled my when I realized I couldn't see because my hat was on, I pulled my hat up, and then I scratched my eye, like, like after I, like, freaked out, and I'm like, oh, what is that, what was that, what is that, and then I realized what it was, and I'm like, ah, oh, and I went back to try to go back to sleep, I, there's this pain in my eye, because, <laughs> like, the fabric of the, of the, um, hat scratched my eye, jeez. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, go back to sleep for a little bit, and then we'll hit up uh, Tim Hortons. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to go back to sleep for a couple more minutes. But other than that, it was a good night. There's uh, also another van parked in this parking lot. It's either a stealth camper or one of the Tim Hortons employees. And then over here... There's a van parked, and uh, that looks like possibly a stealth camper or possibly an employee of uh, Food Basics or something. <laughs> guys it is now 8 30 had a nice little sleep uh, a couple of hours more sleep that was nice let's go switch out our hats first of all because I don't need that anymore today but we're definitely put this on support our local teams and uh, well this is our Blue Jays hat hockey jersey or hoodie jersey down here but uh, let's go grab a coffee from Tim Hortons Oh, it's a big lineup. Oh, bad timing, Ken. Bad timing, dude. Everybody's taking their turn. We'll get there. Large coffee, and um, I was gonna do one of your everything bagel. The coffee. Oh, just black coffee? Large black, okay, and then an everything bagel? Everything bagel, toasted, buttered. Okay. And uh, what was that new donut I saw? The, the New York cheesecake? I'll have one of those, please. All right, and that's everything? That's it, thanks. My points are up to 70. We're on a point system. You get free coffee every once in a while. It's good news. That's good news. Thanks, Tim Hortons. Thank you. All right, people, let's park it and eat it. Okay, guys, here is our extreme close-up of our beautiful Tim Hortons breakfast. Over here, we got our black coffee, our uh, cheesecake donut, and over here is our everything bagel, toasted, buttered. We need that Canadian wake up juice. <gasps> don't you fall, don't you fall. Bad, bad. All right, cheers everyone. Thanks for all the support on my channel. Ah, beautiful. I miss carbs. I'll be hungry in about an hour. And now for our breakfast donut. Oh, it smells good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah, this is the New York Cheesecake Dream Donut. And we've got that uh, graham cracker crumble on top. And it's drizzled with a syrup 
and inside we have got it's like a cheesecake filling icing more carbs and sugar i'll definitely be hungry within the next hour for sure it's good i'm gonna finish off the rest of this breakfast and i'll see you guys at lunch ciao <laughs> It's 11 o'clock, we're coming up on the 24 hours, and uh, we're gonna hit up the, the Wendy's. It's open now, I think it opens at 10.30. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, I'm okay for you. I'm gonna try that uh, Southwest Avocado salad. Sure, Let's go full. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try that new double JBC on the side. Okay. And the drink will be just uh, an iced tea, please, and a bottle of water. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Right, thank you. Yeah, it's a brand new Double JBC Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Thank you very much. We got our water, and that looks nice and cold for later. Then we got our iced tea, our amazing Southwest Avocado Salad. We got our Southwest Ranch that we'll be adding to that. And over here is our Double JBC apparently it's only a couple months old that they've been doing it check out that beautiful chicken crispy bacon ripe tomatoes cheese and that gooey ooey avocado and fresh lettuce let's take a bite of that JBC first got to do a bit of a burger look at that guys check that out doesn't that look beautiful and it doesn't cost that much money it's cheap Mmm, Wendy's burgers, yummy, fantastic burger. If you want to get your burger fix on at Wendy's, but don't want to eat a lot of calories, this will do it, man. This is everything great about Wendy's right here. Mm. Awesome. Let's put on this Renee's Gourmet Southwest Ranch. And this is uh, fresh buttermilk and spices. Let's do it. If you're lactose, please avert your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna put that on like that. And how do you guys eat your salad uh, when you get a restaurant salad like this? Do you put all your, your um, dressings on and then put the lid back on and shake it? I think I was supposed to do that in one of my other videos. Somebody told me, yeah, it's the best way to do it. But this has this avocado. I'm not sure if it's gonna spread around properly. Well, let's give it a shot. And got the lid right here. There is a hole in the lid, so you gotta be careful. It's the first thing I checked. Is there a hole in the lid? Because I don't wanna shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. And then have it all come out. It's like a washing machine. Gone crazy. All right, let's open it up. Oh, that worked out great. Fantastic. You guys rock. That looks like it did a great job getting that Southwest Renee's Gourmet Ranch on coated on everything. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's like a big glob of uh avocado but i bet it's i bet it's deep inside let's see if we can find it or did it get mixed in hmm guess we'll find out all right guys let's see if we can dig into this thing let's see if we can find all that chicken get some chicken get some lettuce i think i got pretty much everything on there mm. that's pretty good the cheese didn't get really mixed up it's all kind of clumped over on that one side i'm trying to see well there's some avocado yeah the avocado and cheese all stuck together oh look at this clump right here definitely got lots of avocado on there chicken lettuce i love avocado man as soon as i saw the list of salads that they have i'm like i gotta try that one of the lunches or dinners so when i do go down to the states guys to do a 24-hour Wendy's once I'm allowed to travel to the States let me know what the best breakfast items are and I'll make sure I try them I'll probably do all of them I'll try and get there maybe the night before sleep over 
in the parking lot, maybe do like a 48 hour Wendy's thing because I need to try as many of the breakfast items as I can. If you're into salads, guys, this is an amazing salad. Please give it a shot. And of course, the double JBC. Mm. Go out and get it now for sure. All right, guys, we are all done here at Wendy's. I hope you enjoyed this 24 hour stealth camp at Wendy's in Newmarket. I enjoyed it thoroughly myself. All the food was fantastic and I had a good sleep. And once again, thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon for all your love and support there. And of course my channel members here on KBD Productions TV. And of course, all my subscribers and viewers for hitting that thumbs up, leaving those comments, sharing my videos. You guys all rock as well. If you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that playlist I dropped down over there and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.